Good day, folks. Seven First Alert meteorologist Keenan Smith. It's cold outside this morning. Mostly clear skies, cold and crisp, light wind, so we're not worried about wind chills. But we've seen temperatures in some spots uh, like Ann Arbor and Port Huron dip down even into the upper 20s. Now, we'll have clear skies, the wet and messy weather, that's all gone, and we don't have to worry about that. One thing that you will see, though, uh, with that colder air moving in, and this is one of the colder mornings we've seen so far this season, uh, how about a little bit of a lake effect rain over there on the uh, other side of the lakes. Well, soon enough, there'll be some lake effect snow showers. Now, we don't have to worry about any rain or snow today. Lots of sun. Uh, this is a look at the uh, morning drive, and you can see some high, thin clouds just passing by. Mostly sunny skies today with a high right around 55 degrees. Overnight tonight, we'll start to see some clouds build in. And Friday, there will be another chance of rain, but that occurs later in the day. You can see Friday morning, we're still dry. Today, look for a high of 55, mostly sunny, seasonably cool. Average highs in the upper 50s, 44 degrees, partly cloudy tonight. Very late tonight, in the pre-dawn hours, it starts to become breezy, and that'll help to keep temperatures from falling much more than that 44. 59 degrees Friday, with a uh, chance for uh, rain. And, of course, we all know that uh, trick-or-treating and all that is on... Uh, Tuesday, but of course some folks will be able, will be out this weekend, especially if they're indoors. Saturday, a chilly day, 49 degrees. Sunday, spotty showers around, seasonably cool. Can't if we can get some showers early enough, perhaps there's a, a wet snowflake in there as well. Tuesday, looking for a high that is a Halloween of just 48 degrees. That's going to be on the cool side instead of the 50s, like we typically see uh, for Halloween and for trick or treating. I'm Seven First Alert meteorologist Keenan Smith.